Tonight, kids, we're going to do something special. We're going to have a get-together day. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most complicated dance scenes to film. I used to close my eyes and pretend I could dance all over the floor, walls, even the ceiling. If you ever learn to do that, I can get you a very good book. For this list, we'll be taking a behind-the-scenes look at show-stopping cinematic dance numbers that were difficult to execute, tricky to capture, and some that are just so complex they'll leave you asking, how'd they do that? What was the last dance scene that made your jaw drop? Or had you trying your own hand at the tricks in your living room? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Street Dance – Fame With dozens of dancers clad in leotards and leg warmers, this number is truly an 80s classic. When Bruno's dad plays his son's electronic music outside of New York's High School of Performing Arts, students stream out onto 46th Street to bust a move to the song that would later give the film its title. However, the Oscar-winning tune wasn't finished in time for production, so the dancers were actually grooving to Donna Summer's hot stuff until the sequence was later redubbed. Shot on location, the production took over the Manhattan streets for three days, and the scene's carefree chaos was all too real. The dancers were told to ditch the original choreography and freestyle around and on top of moving cars. <laughs> Number 9. You're All the World to Me – Royal Wedding I was so happy that suddenly all I wanted to do was to dance. So I figured that if I danced when I was happy, I should be happy if I danced. Is that silly enough? In one of Fred Astaire's most iconic dances, Astaire's character Tom literally falls head over heels for fellow dancer Anne Ashman as his love takes him dancing up the walls and across the ceiling. But how did Astaire so effortlessly defy the laws of physics? In order to elevate his already revered dancing to new heights, the set was built within a larger rotating cage and track. So, as Astaire dances, the room rotates around his steps while the camera stays in place. Altogether, the combination of secured furniture, magnets, and precise edits work together to capture the perfect illusion of love-struck weightlessness. Number 8. Aphrodite's Fountain – Mamma Mia Sophie and Donna's island adventures are chock full of memorable dance numbers from beginning to end, and the final celebration after the long-awaited wedding is no exception. Both the first film and its sequel had large-scale showstoppers with huge ensembles, including but not limited to their performances of Dancing Queen. While Here We Go Again's Super Trooper finale was colorfully choreographed, it's the high-stakes performance of Take a Chance on Me and Mamma Mia's title track that added quite the layer of complication, however. It saw wedding guests dance under an exploding fountain. The entire shot had to be executed in one go before everyone was drenched, so what you see in the film is actually a one-take wonder. Number 7. Another Day of Sun – La La Land Opening on a famous Los Angeles site, gridlocked highway traffic, the film's distinct style of choreography brings each unique aspect of the city to life as a daily commute turns into a spectacular dance number. Unlike the Fred and Ginger-esque sunset tap dance, in which the cast and crew only had time for four long takes to get the perfect lighting, La La Land's opening scene required months of rehearsals, dozens of performers, and two days of shooting. <laughs> The 
choreographer Mandy Moore described the scene as the most difficult challenge of her career, as the choreography required perfect timing from rows and rows of dancers, skaters, stunt people, the camera team, and even the wind. Not to mention another LA day of sun meant up to 104 degree heat inside some of the vehicles. Number 6. Singin' in the Rain, Singin' in the Rain It's the film's titular number, and perhaps the most iconic Gene Kelly musical number of all time. Kelly splashes through the rain in a dance famous for its infectious joy and easygoing style. Yet, the scene was far from carefree, as Kelly was running a high fever, and the logistics were so complicated that it took several days of shooting to master. This is not the only account of difficult physical conditions on set, as the slapstick, make em laugh choreography was reportedly so intense that Donald O'Connor was briefly bedridden post-filming. Whether it be rain, slapstick stunts, or stunning duets filmed in the illusion of an expansive sky, this film stands out because each number dared to take a step beyond ordinary. Dancing and singing in the rain. Number 5. Let's Call the Whole Thing Off, Shall We Dance? We'd be remiss to review any movie dance scenes without mentioning Fred and Ginger, who revolutionized everything from elegant ballroom duets across sprawling sound stages to compelling casual tap dances as recently acquainted strangers. In Shall We Dance, Fred and Ginger are far from strangers as they fake their marriage for a publicity stunt. But when they begin to argue, they transition into a breathtaking partner dance, all on roller skates. Astaire was famously a massive perfectionist, and the scene allegedly took over 150 takes to get right. Though the scene has a comedic tone, the innovative artistry is undeniable, and the pain on the pair's faces as they get up from the grass seems to indicate the previous takes were far from smooth or gentle. Yes, it was my idea. Have you any more of them? No. Number 4. When the Sun Goes Down, In the Heights this stage musical adaptation did not shy away from daunting dance scenes, beginning with its astounding opening sequence. However, nothing is as striking as Benny and Nina's romantic goodbye when the sun goes down. So we've got the summer, and we've got each other, perhaps even longer. Inspired by a stairs dance in Royal Wedding, this number features the pair commemorating their Washington Heights love by dancing up fire escapes. The scene was executed on a giant moving set where a vertical wall would tilt along with the camera, and the unharnessed actors had to constantly adjust their choreography as gravity shifted. No. The tedious logistics required a special VR rehearsal to ensure the illusion. The director, choreographers, and special effects teams worked tirelessly to make sure every detail from fake sun to final kiss was seamlessly timed. When the sun goes down, when the sun goes down, when the sun goes down. Number 3. That's How You Know, Enchanted. How does she know that you really, really, truly love her? I've never heard How this song. Does she... As Giselle brings her magical fairy tale world to gritty New York City via a musical number about love, her infectious positivity and romance earn her an eager ensemble that follows in her footsteps. 
As she gathers eclectic elements from every part of NYC life, she forms a giant parade that dances their way through Central Park. The number took multiple days to complete. Everybody wants to live happily ever after. Everybody wants to know their true love is true. Between the logistical challenges of filming in a public park, serious weather delays, and over 150 costume dancers and 300 extras, everything had to be meticulously rehearsed and choreographed with little room for error. But keep these older men in mind because they were also background dancers in our next pick. That's how you know. Number 2. Dance at the Gym – West Side Story With choreographed battles from colorful ballroom clashes to seedy street dance-offs, this production was nearly as turbulent behind the scenes as it was on screen. Naturally, the dance numbers were no exception. Since some of the film was shot on location, the production supposedly had to hire actual gang members to keep the set safe, and dancers developed injuries after wearing through their knee pads by repeatedly dancing on concrete and in intricate gang fight scenes. As a matter of fact, uh, we are suspicion that the job was uh, done by a cop. Two cops. At the very least. Impossible. In America. Nothing is impossible. The vibrantly complex mambo choreography in Dance at the Gym came at a cost as well. Co-director Jerome Robbins had Natalie Wood rehearsing over 15 hours a day and overworked dancers with endless takes until he was eventually fired for wasting both film and funding. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Final Dance – Step Up The group showcase beautifully fused multiple dance styles. Smoke Number – Million Dollar Mermaid – An elaborate performance featuring synchronized swimmers and effects. No Dames, Hail Caesar, tap dancing sailors galore. Rewrite the Stars, The Greatest Showman. Have aerial acrobatics ever looked and felt so romantic on screen? I've had the time of my life, Dirty Dancing, that unforgettable Swayze lift. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The American in Paris Ballet – An American in Paris Gene Kelly celebrates the beauty of Paris with this unconventional merging of the ballet and the movie musical. The end result is one of the big screen's lengthiest dance scenes ever, clocking in at 17 minutes. The ballet is so substantial that it boasts a budget of half a million dollars for the sequence itself, and it's even credited in the opening titles. Produced shortly following World War II, the film saw actress Leslie Caron struggle to keep up with the choreography, as she was still recovering from malnourishment during the war. <laughs> Number 2. 
Despite the complicated sets, the intense choreography, and the sheer number of costumes, we're glad Kelly and company stuck to their instincts. The stunning review is an icon of cinema, and for good reason. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.